Hey, greetings, welcome back, human creatures. How you all doing? Hope you're very well. I'm Jar Warlock, and this is the unboxing review. Now, as I said previously in another video, a certain box is going under, so you might need a replacement. So today, we're going to look at one possible replacement for that box. Today's box is my geek box, which is £19.99 per month. Last month's box did have the same two graphic novels as in the threads box, which was fine. There's 20 quid of value if you don't get threads. That was alright. Hopefully, this doesn't have the same ones. If it does, just sell them off. But if it does have the same kind of stuff as threads, the simple answer is probably get this instead of threads. Or if you want to spend less, get threads instead of this. Simple. One or the other. You don't need to get both. At least that's what I think. Anyway, we're not going to waste any time. Let's chop it open. Where's the... Where's the thing? Oh, it's not even sealed. Well, that does save a lot of time. So, first item. And the first thing feels like a very small box. Ooh. I recognize the shape of this box. Uh, it's not a Funko. It's a... It's a Dorbs. And I paused because it's a Dorbs I like, which doesn't make any sense. Gonna say it now, no one is a fan of Dorbs. If you're a fan of Dorbs, you are the only one in the entire world because I've never met anyone who actually really likes Dorbs. But this one's awesome. It's Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th. Yes, those 482 million films of Friday the 13th, starring mostly Jason Voorhees, apart from the first one, which is actually his mother. Uh, he's a kid, he's at Camp Crystal Lake, and he drowns, and then he comes back for vengeance, and he starts murdering people. It's good. At least the first two are good, and then it goes bonkers, and there's some others that are kind of okay, and there's Freddy vs. Jason, which is just a big pile of garbage, but kind of fun. The one thing I do love is that in the remake of Friday the 13th, they actually had the Necronomicon from the Evil Dead in the background, suggesting that he could be a deadite. And I don't mind that, because that would actually make sense. But we should probably get this out of the box and actually take a look at it. Would you just look at that terrifying little figure? Who wouldn't be scared of Jason if he looked like that? This looks like the version, sort of, was it the 8-bit or the 16-bit? I used to have a figure, but I gave it away, of uh, Jason from one of the arcade games, and it was very, very cool. This is that kind of colouring, that sort of 8-bit, 16-bit kind of detail to him with the blue and the purple. Because he wasn't blue and the purple in the films, he wouldn't be able to, like, hunt people, would he? He'd stand out everywhere. But I think I only like it because it's Jason, like, the mask is cool. The sword's cool. It's very basic. It does look like a wibble wobble thing that should fall over, but they never do. Well, I mean, it does. You know, it's falling over. But he doesn't get back up. But it is kind of nice, and I like Jason, so that is a nice little thing I'm actually going to add to the collection. Terrifyingly, I actually like a Dorbs. So we have a Jason Dorbs, and it did say it's exclusive to Walgreens, which I was calling what the other day, because I didn't know what it was. But apparently, it's the American Walgreens. So, Jason Dorbs, probably. Five to ten pound. I've broken my card on the rule of always getting the t-shirt first. Ah, Right, let's grab the t-shirt and we'll carry on. There's a lot of stuff in here. It's a very, very packed box. Right, here's the t-shirt. Let us see what it is. The box was stuck to the table. And it is an official Nintendo t-shirt of the Zapper. The sort of little light gun thing that you used to use. Is that the one from Duck Hunt, I think? On the Nintendo Entertainment System all those many, many, many years ago. Oh, what a system. I used to love the Nintendo Entertainment System. I got given one in one of my old jobs. Just, they went, do you want one? So, yeah, and they just gave it me. Random. But there we go. Nintendo Entertainment System, and it's like the blueprint kind of design for the Zapper gun. That's kind of nice if you're into sort of retro stuff. Not much I can say. It's on a burgundy colour, though. You don't see many burgundy t-shirts, and I like that. I like that it's different. Official Nintendo, I'll say about a tenner. Could be more, but we're going to say, as always, about a tenner. Let's continue with our third item, and it is another box which feels like another Dorbs. It is another Dorbs. It is another Walgreens exclusive. It's a glow in the dark Batman. I don't need to give you the history of Batman, but apparently there is going to be a new Batman film again. Can we do we really need to keep rebooting Batman? I don't think we do. There are many, many other superheroes we could use, but apparently we just need to keep doing Batman. Anyway, that bloke from Twilight and the died in Harry Potter. What was his name? Robert Patterson, that's it, apparently he's going to be the new Batman. If you gave me a list of every actor in the world and said list them from 1 to 100 of who you think would be a great Batman, he wouldn't appear on the list. But maybe he'll be great, people hated Heath Ledger when they thought, oh he's going to be the Joker, rubbish! Turns out people loved him. Anyway, yes, it's a glow-in-the-dark green Batman. I don't remember Batman wearing green, but then 
it's a Funko kind of thing, and Funkos do like Blue Batman, Pink Batman, Surf Batman, Batman in Zebra costume, they just, they go nuts. But, let's have a look what he looks like out of the box. And there is little old Batman. There's something quite adorable about Dorbs, even if I don't particularly like him. But it is clearly Batman, a very green Batman. He fell into some toxic waste or something. Maybe he was fighting a toxic Avenger. I don't know. But yep, there he is. Green cape, green ears, green face, green thing. It's Batman. Apparently it glows in the dark. I can't test that because it's like the middle of the day and there's no way to make this room that dark. But there he is, Batman, glow in the dark Dorbs. <sighs> don't know what else to say about it, really. What I do remember about Batman is he was always stealthy. He was like in the shadows, sneaking up on people, taking out the villains. Couldn't sneak anyway dressed like that, really, could you? Except maybe, I don't know, a rave or something? Like a neon glow rave from the 90s. He'd fit in perfectly. So another Walgreens exclusive Dorbs, Batman, Glow in the Dark, and like five to ten pounds. Item four. And there's oh, so many things. Right, there's something in bubble wrap. Let's have a look what this is. What? Oh, we have had this before. This is not surprising. It is everywhere right now. Q figs. It's Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones, of course, was on Netflix for three seasons, and I really enjoyed it. I know some people weren't massive fans of it. I really enjoyed Jessica Jones. Second season, not so good. Third season, pretty good. But my one major complaint with Jessica Jones, and it's very simple, is the character of Trish. Don't know if it was the actress, don't know if it was the character, but my god, did I hate her. With a passion, I kept hoping that somehow she'd be blown up or run over by a car. That's how popular that character was for me. So this is the Jessica Jones Q-Fig. It's probably, because it's been out a long time, about five quid. I've unboxed it before, but we'll take a quick look anyway. So there is Jessica Jones, the Q-Fig, looking exactly like she does in the show, played brilliantly by Kristen, I can't remember her name. That woman who was in the thing, like Breaking Bad. She was in that, she was really good. Anyway, yeah, that's her kicking down a wall. Super strong, can jump loads of distances, kind of invulnerable to certain things. Uh, great character, she's a private eye, she was a superhero, didn't like it. She marries Luke Cage, I think, at some point, I can't remember. But this is actually a really, 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 really nice Q-Fig. I love Q-Figs, Q-Figs are fantastically designed. This is how you do a figure, this is how you do a little statue. Funko's boring, just stand there, Blah, no point to them. These are so much more interesting, I like the details, the pipe, the you can even see the break in the brickwork, that's awesome, and she's like kicking it down. Don't know why she's kicking it down. Maybe it upset her in some way, I don't know. But it's a lovely figure, lovely design, lovely colouring, can't complain, and probably about a fiver. I like that, I've already got one so this is going to go into a Patreon box, but it's still very very nice. Next item is... Uh, feels like a coin, it's going to be a coin. It is a coin. Official collectible coin. Pickle Rick! Yes, we already remember Pickle Rick from Rick and Morty where he didn't want to do something. I can't remember what it was. So he turns himself into a pickle. I'm pickle Rick! And then there's a whole episode with some rats and he's been, like, got cybernetic arms and he's a pickle. He's just a pickle. It's completely insane. It's Rick and Morty. I do enjoy Rick and Morty. I'm not going to go into the whole reason why people don't like it because it's the fans, blah, blah, blah. I just went into it. But never mind. Anyway, let's look at the coin. So there is the coin. It's Pickle Rick with his weird cybernetic arms. It says, I'm Pickle Rick. I turn myself into a Pickle Morty because that's what he did. Doesn't say. It's a limited number. There's a weird version of Rick. I can't remember why he was like that. I think it was like 10,000 of them. It's all right. It's from Adult Swim. Uh, these are usually like 10 to 12 quid. It's not the greatest thing, but if you're a fan of Rick and Morty, got yourself a pin. No, you haven't. You got yourself a coin. Words. And I realise people go, you can't say coin. Well, I can't say coin, I just can't say the other way of saying it. Yes, I know how you say it, I just can't say it. So there's no point in telling me how to say it, because I can't say it. Like £35 worth of value already, and there's still two more things. They feel like books. They feel like graphic novels. I'm starting to suspect they may be the same graphic novels we did in the Threads box. Let's see. The first book is... <laughs> and it is Star Trek Volume 3. I've already mentioned this in the previous Threads video, I'll leave a link to that so you can go and see what these books are about, but they are about £10. The next item is another book, of course it is, it's Volume 4 of Star Trek. As I said, link up there to the Threads video and you can see what I said about these books, but again, another tenner. And that is everything in August, my Geekbox. Let's see very quickly 
everything we had. Jessica Jones Q-Fig, Walgreens exclusive Batman Glow in the Dark Dorps, Walgreens exclusive Friday the 13th Jason Voorhees Dorps, Pick a Rick Rick and Morty Coin, Nintendo Zapper T-Shirt, Star Trek Graphic Novel Collection Volume 3 Hive, Star Trek Graphic Novel Collection Volume 4 Spock Reflections. So that Mikey box is £19.99. 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 45 and a t-shirt, £55 and that's if these are 5 and not £10 each. That's really good value. As I said, we have had these graphic novels before in the Threads box. The Threads box is at 9 dollars Two graphic novels and a t-shirt go for the Threads box. If you don't mind spending 20 quid, go for this box because you've got your two graphic novels, your t-shirt, your coin, two daubs and a Q-fig. That is fantastic value. You may have had these, some of these items before. I don't know. That's the only thing I've had before. And then obviously the graphic novels in the Threads box. But that's just me because I get so many boxes. But that's a really, really good box, I think. Let me know your opinion. What do you think of my geek box? Is this worth it? Is it a viable alternative to the other crate, which is currently having a bit of a crisis? Let me know your thoughts down below. Leave comments, there's discounts, all that kind of stuff. Head over to jarwalk.live for all the boxes, all the discounts, all my videos, everything else over there. You want to get your name in the credits? Head over to Patreon, you can vote on there, get your own mystery box, all that kind of stuff. But most importantly, be happy, be free, keep it awesome, and I will catch you next time. Bye bye.